anywhere you throw a fly, a plug, a piece of live bait, you can catch a 40 to 50 pound fish. It just, everything looks good. You drive along there and you look and there's nothing, you know? Where else could you do something like that up here? Very few places. This is where the glacier stopped. So it's all rock in here. That's why like North Shore of Martha's Vineyard is all rock. And then it goes sandy as you get to Eggertown side. Then that's Nantucket's all sand. Oh, here we go. That's yeah. a big girl. Coming, coming, coming. You know, and that teasing, we started that on the beach growing up fishing. It was bass or bluefish were always just offshore. You couldn't reach them with your fly rod. So we'd always stand next to the plugging guys. And then they'd get mad at us because we'd steal the fish from them. So... We ended up bringing our own spinning rod with like a hookless plug and like you just rotate, you know, one guy would throw the tees or two guys would fly and then you just switch back and forth. And that's kind of where that started. It's a two person game, just like fishing the flats. So you can't have someone who's great on the bow, but someone who doesn't know how to pull, it's the same thing. You need someone that knows how to work the work the plug and you need a dude who can drop the fly in the ring. So it's a, it's a team op operation, and we've had some pretty severe arguments about whose fault it was if something didn't get caught, but most of the time, you know, we get over it and we're still friends. I prefer sinking lines and the bigger flies first, because when you start throwing the plugs around is when you can actually, you can wreck it. You get one shot with that, that topwater stuff, and then the fish will go down and not play anymore. But we decided to take our chances. After all, we weren't here every day. That was a behind foil, was it not? No. That's fun. Oh, oh, nice. That's a good one. Nice, Dave. Nice work. Pretty cast. Man. Thank you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Problems. More problems. Less problems. Problems are over. Nicely done. Now nice. just, that's how that's to work. just joy. Hey, that's no problem. <laughs> Big explosion, then straight bass fever set in. Now we're trying to work it out. Like it's just staying up on top. You know? It's going to some pile of pass on it. Okay. Okay, that's good. Once again, though, put it right where it needed to be. Thank you. I'll get over here. Sound that first one made was pretty good, man. Explosion. He was very. <laughs> I think happy it ate it. it. When was the last time you did that? Um, that was money. Yeah, a long time ago. Oh man, nice big hollow okay, fly. Yeah, so that fly looks just like the lure Jamie was throwing, and so uh, when the bass uh, tried to eat the lure, which had no hooks, I uh, threw threw that right in there. Popovic's hollow fly. Is this a, just a hollow fly deceiver, Dave, or hollow fly? Hollow Flat wing style. Look at me. Look how long that thing is. This was the fish we got on the ferry for. 